Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com. In this video, I'll be showing how you can share users in multiple portals on a single .NET Nuke installation. And to do that, we're going to use a module called Multiportal User Sharing Extreme from DNN Masters. Um, now, full disclosure, um, I've tried to use the module in two other sites uh, over the last few days. Didn't work quite well, but I think the problem were my sites. Now, very, very nicely, uh, Chris Klesinski from DNN Masters, he provided me with uh, with two portals on his own website. So as you can see the URL, we have portal four is one portal under that site. And then we have portal five. So we're gonna use this site to demonstrate the ability of having a, u a users in one portal shared across another portal. So for instance, we're gonna have a user in portal four and the same user will be also available in portal five when we install and we start using a uh, multi-portal user sharing extreme. Okay, so to get to get us started, we have to log into the site and we have to install the module. So I'm going to log I'm going to log in as super user and I do have a super user account provided by DNN Masters. And here's the password. So let's log in. Now from here, I'm going to just install the module as a regular module. Nothing special at this point. So I'm going to go to module definitions. I'm going to the action menu and then click on install module. I'm going to browse and this is the location that the module is. So I'm going to select the installation package. I'm going to open, click next. I'm going to click next again. And then, yep, just review the notes, click next, accept the license, click next again. Then the module will get installed right now. Scroll all the way down and we have installation successful. So let's click return. Now to check if the module is installed, we can just go to host and we can uh, try to find the DNN masters and this is the module. So if we click there, so actually this module, even though it does install uh, a module in the drop down of modules at the top where it says uh, DNN masters, here's the module, but we don't actually need to add it to any page because it automatically creates a, a, a page under the host menu. So we can do the entire setup from that page. So from here, let's explore a little bit uh, the settings of this module. So let's go to it has a it has a few a few tabs. So let's go to globals, and under the first option that we have here is configuration, which can be standard configuration if we just want to share uh, between parent portal and child portals, or if we also need to do cross domain sharing. Let's say in the same installation of .dot .NET, in the same instance, we have multiple domains running under the same installation, we should also, we should actually check this option. So uh, for the time being, I'm going to keep as standard configuration because at the end of the day, we just have two child portals. We have portal one and por sorry, portal four and portal five that we want to share across. So I'm going to keep the first one selected. And this option is actually also very important. It's the option that will enable this feature. Now, very important, if by any chance in the future you need to uninstall this module, you have to first come here to disable the module before you actually delete the module. Okay, very important because otherwise you may lose users across your portals. So let's enable the module. So when once you click enable, it turns to disable in case we want to disable the module eventually and uninstall, very important. Very important as well to have the web config, uh, a backup for the web config checked. So it comes checked by default. So the module at this point is enabled, but now we have to create some 
shared areas. Uh, the module actually works uh, in the concept of shared areas. You can we can create shared areas. Let's say we have uh, four different portals, and we we want to share users across different portals, but not across all portals. So we can define we can predefine areas where the sharing will happen. So let's create our our first shared area here. Let's call this SA1. And I'm not, I can describe this sharing portal four and portal five. Because you're gonna actually do a, a two-way type of sharing. We're gonna share from portal four to portal five and from portal portal five to portal four. So let's create. Let's click on create. The area was properly created here, but now we have to enable portals underneath this area. So what we have to do now is we have to go to portal sharing. And here we can expand to have a look at the different portals. Now, there are a few other portals here. I don't want to, I don't care about those portals. I My own uh, concern right now is really portal four and portal five. I want to bundle them together so they can reference, they can um, share users. So I can click on portal four. Um, there's some overlapping here, that's fine. So we have the portal information here, and now I'm gonna click on add where it says add portal to shared area. Let me click on add. And by doing so, I, I just have one shared area. I want to share the data from the portal, and I want to share the, the shared data, the shared area as well. So I'm gonna check both of them. Again, I'm gonna check all those different options because I want to share basically everything between portal four and portal five. So let's click next here. I'm going to share all users, that's fine. Click next, I'm going to share all rows and groups. That's fine. I'm going to check this option as well. Again, sharing everything that I can between the two portals. Now I'm just going to click on confirm. And so we have the shared uh, area, right? The, the, the sharing created right here. We're going to do the same thing for portal five. Click on add. And then we're going to check the same options. Click next. So you're going to share all users. You're going to share all rows and groups. Again, there are lots of fine granular options. You can select uh, specific groups, if specific uh, roles. So again, very granular, but I'm sharing the whole thing right now. Our objective is really to share all users across those two portals. Click next, confirm. This is the end of video one on how to share users across multiple portals in .NET Nook by using the multi-portal user sharing extreme module from the DNN masters.